welcome to the last round here. We won the die roll. Uh, we kept this hand just because we have the Avastons Pilgrim into Pentad Prison for basically two counters. And then we can immediately tap it to, to play pack rats. Now it might not be that great against a red deck to do that on the same turn. Um, but given that we have Bitter Blossom, I think I want to do this for black now. Because Bitter Blossom just is good enough to have it early on. It sucks that we don't have black mana, but I mean, um, Bear Blossom will help me with that. Opponent also seems to play multiple colors. So let's always heal to this. Bio is a great draw, by the way. Because now Pack Rats does become a bit better. I mean, end of turn, we can just discard one of these two. Probably like the Terra Sadan. And just make another token. Like he has to have two burn to get rid of pack rats now. So many tokens. Uh, no need to attack with the pilgrim here. What is this? Syrian spear. In response, we will make one. And this is why pack rats is is so sick. Like, even if you have removed for the original copy, if you cast it with uh, more mana, you need to have double removal for it. Which he might not have. Elish Norn, huh? So he's also a reanimator? Godless Shrine, okay. Well, also reanimator is basically a wrong statement. Um, do we discard Sundering Titan? I think we do. But there's no need to play the land, to be honest. Uh, so discard Sundering Titan. Uh, we'll, we'll play the land. Then attack with everything. Hit him for 4, bring him down to 16. Yeah, this is a really fast clock. Unless he has bonfire for two at one point. He does have a nice mana base, by the way. Lingering Souls. And that's a good card. Uh, wish I had that. Uh, forest, we will discard to the back reds. Uh, let's first attack. Figure he blocks the two packs. Okay, so that. Uh, okay, that's definitely not the correct way to do this. Uh, because now we just discard another forest, grow this, deal him 5 down to 11. And then next turn, these are 4 fours. He can flashback Fateless Looting. He could have Living End. Oh, Living Dead, sorry. But like, we discard there's Sun and Sundering Dead and I, okay. So he does have that, but then these still live. And we'll keep on growing. Massacre Worm does not do that much. So we'll discard that as well to the back rats. In which case they all become 2-2s. Two yeah. Having Umber right there. Brutal. Given that he can actually still attack, given that he has vigilance. Um. Okay. There's also the downside of. Oh wow. Yeah, I forgot that those get plus as well. Yeah, this is so unlikely to be winnable. Okay. So this guy stole my Emperor rights. Wow, and he even has a Grizzle Brand. Yeah, there's no way I win this, by the way. Um, we'll see. Like, maybe if I draw... Um, not Una's power by far. This is 10, then he has that. He attacks with everything. I generate another pack rats. I draw what I need. Kill the Grizzle Brand after he attacked. He blocks one and still goes down for lethal. Okay, got it. 
So if he attacks with everything, he loses if he flashbacks and barrel rides on Grizzlebrand. But that's only if I draw the only remove a card in my deck for the Grizzlebrand, so... You never know, uh, it might be possible. I'll go down to one here. I think if he had a burn, he would've used it already. Hmm... Really? Oh yeah, forgot about that. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> oh man, I forgot that. Uh, definitely an error on my part. I should have blocked the Elish, and then I would have had two twos. Uh, then three threes, attack with everything, he goes down to two. Nah, no, that doesn't work. But at least I would have seen a draw. Uh, definitely want to keep this, like survival of the fittest uh, plus recurring nightmare in the same hand seems pretty brutal uh, you know I don't have a creature in my hand but that doesn't matter at this point don't open up with fateless looting thank you uh, so let's cast survival it's very unlikely my opponent has something against that so both decks run Really? Like, I'm just not gonna draw a creature, am I? Like, any creature is good here. Any creature can get Sundering Titan. Although I don't really necessarily want Sundering Titan. There's a creature generator, not a creature. At least give me a bloody creature. Okay, I play like 15 of them. At least now we have like creature to sacrifice as well to recur nightmare, but uh yeah I think Sundering Titan is still good. Okay. Finally. I think Sundering Titan... Okay, th this is great. So we discard Sundering Titan. Um, like this. It's fine. Okay. We'll get like um, Sylvan Carrotted. Okay. I will play Sylvan Carrotted. He can't really kill that, so. And then we'll get like Sundering Titan back. Okay. Blow up these two, and this, and then this. Okay. Then play you have my ghost. We can't really recast this at this point. But I mean we still have a 7-10 in play. Uh plus if we draw nah. Shouldn't have gotten gotten the silver character, maybe. I don't know. I think having a 7-10 is still good. Could have also waited a turn. I don't know, if he has more mana we and we draw a swamp at one point, we can just sacrifice the Sunray Titan again. To get the carry it back. Okay. And tomb does not do much. This is a fast clock, although not the fastest. Uh, and given that I don't actually have another swamp, it's pretty horrendous. Yeah, probably good, shouldn't have gotten the Sylvan Carrotted, or at least sacrificed it, just played it and waited, so that I have more black mana to keep Sundering Titan and Recurrent Nightmare combo going. Because at this point, is is not necessarily a win. Give like has Living Dead at one point. Wall of Blossoms. Um. It's still probably better drawing a random card compared to 
sacrificing this for survival. Uh, let's see what we have, right? I don't think we have another black generator as a creature. We have like wolf here. Which I don't ne really need. I think we get like Avenger and just swing here for 8. Like, just putting these creatures in my graveyard, this allows them to play Living End. Kinda know what his plan is here. Necromancy. A graveyard, wow, really? I did not know. I did not know. That's okay. Though, probably not. Did I just get an email? Yeah. Okay, so it blocks the damage there, which is understandable. But then it just dies. Wow, I don't know why we didn't just not block with a mirror token. Sure, this buys him time though. Just because he has all these mirrors. But as soon as I have... Whoa, mana crypt. What is he going to do with the mana? No. Silas conscripts. Okay. Okay. See me care. Make all the mirrors as well. Okay. All but one apparently. So we'll block like this and block like this, take five. Black? Oh black. Um So we're recurring oh wait, we first attack, right? Um So let's go to attackers. Uh, with this and these two, not just one. We can get Avenger out, but I don't think we need Avenger. I think we can just get Mirabella Sphere over the Titan here. And then just blow up more lands of him. It's only gonna take Forest of Ours. It's gonna have a hard time coming back from this, even with 4 mana. What did he choose? Does he always choose heads? Yeah. Great player. Oh, great players always choose heads. I do the very same thing. Planes, huh? More targets for Sundering Titan. So one, two, three. He has like three mana then. I don't see what his plan is here. I really don't. I think he has to give this one up. Like, how do you win this? Me losing to my own damage from Blanderware Waste and Bitter Blossom. It's a possibility. And then burn me out somehow. But you're gonna take so much damage. Hello. 
Excuse me for the burp. Yeah, this is why survival and recurrent nightmare is just so broken. If you drop any creature, one throw it in the graveyard, bring it back. And you basically can get the creature you want anyway through the bridge. Sure. Crystal Brand? Elish. Oh, that's haste, of course. Man, am I really gonna lose this? I am right. I block this, still take 10. You can see it here. Elish through the bridge. GG! We go 1-2. Hope you guys still enjoy it, and I'll see you for the next one.